I was going on a train to Manhattan, 11.30 at night, and I said, you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? Because I've been looking forward to this shit. I've been looking forward to this shit. I'm going to go see fucking Oppenheimer. That's what I told myself. I said, I'm going to go see fucking Oppenheimer. And Oppenheimer is going to save my already sh- my, 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 my shit week, okay? Oppenheimer, the thing that I've been looking forward to, I'm like, Yo, we got fucking Killian Murphy, we got Cork, uh, in, Cork is in the house, okay? Cork and his, and his, and his, 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 his no, I'm just going to say it, his stunning fucking eyes are in that fucking house. He's a great actor regardless, okay? But, you know, if, if Desi had to dip the other way, maybe we're starting with Killian Murphy. Just, it is what it is, you know? Just now, it, 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 it's, it's, irresi- it's, 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 I'm just speaking the obvious, okay? But here's the thing. So, but, but, but more importantly, He's the court, the court thing, and he's great. Like I said, great actor. So I was like, okay, fucking, uh, let's go, Killian Murphy. Let's go, let, let, like, let this be fucking. And I'm not even a huge a court guy, you know. I'm not, I'm not from that neck of the woods. But, uh, my, but you know, it's like, hey, we're still planting the flag, and it's kind of cool because it's like the second city, you know. Because if somebody, somebody from Dublin, it's huge. But it's like somebody from Cork. It's like, oh shit! It's like even it's like you know, it's even cool. I don't know for whatever reason. I'm like, yo, plant this fucking flag. So I end up going to see Oppenheimer in in, in this IMAX shit. Okay. Uh, uh, at midnight on whatever day of the week that was, and so the, from the from the from the fucking get go, it's you know it's not looking good, okay? Because I, I show up to the thing and they're like, hey, oh, we only have IMAX, whatever. I'm like, I don't give a shit, whichever one. Twenty six dollars, okay, twenty six fucking dollars. I'm like, okay, that's a bit fucking steep though. I know it's like sixteen, seventeen usually, so I was expecting to be, you know, that's it's already steep. But I'm like, whatever, twenty six fucking dollars. So I'm like, okay, whatever, okay, whatever, I'll go, I'll, I, here's my fucking $26, you got me, okay, and then I had to go get my M&Ms, and, and I was double fisting, I, Desi's back on the sauce, this is, this is a bad thing to admit, because I'm not supposed to, you know, we're supposed to be addicted to power here, we're supposed to be addicted to power, I'm not supposed to be, you know, doing any of that stuff, but double fisting, I'm like, let's fucking do this, so all, all in all, when all is said and done, about 50 bucks, it just fucking burned instantly just to see this fucking thing and i'm like you know what it's not 50 bucks for each of the individual things it's 50 bucks to save my week and restore my fucking sanity so let me give you a timeline of after i sat my ass in the fucking seats okay first of all half an hour of fucking trailers okay which is to be expected i don't give a shit then it was about five to ten minutes of me going hey here we go the movie started i'm amped because what, this is a movie that said, you know why? You know why I was excited about the movie? It's like, we're going to talk about the end of the fucking... We're going to take all these other pity pat bullshit things in, 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 in you know, in movies. It's like, we're going to talk about this person's relationship and this person's this. And what this person went through a transformation where they lost weight because they ate fucking kale and turnips every day. It's like, I don't care about that shit. I care about the big things. I'm fucking building an empire. I want to be the number one person in the world. Okay? So give me this even the action adventure shit. They're like, oh, it's an action is a superhero. I don't want any of that shit. To do the real shit of the guy who invented the end of the world. He invented the, the fucking man-made apocalypse. This guy fuck. That's the stakes we're talking about here. They're doing a whole thing about the guy who invented the fucking, uh, the, the man-made apocalypse. And somehow they take this fucking topic that's like, hey, the, the, you know, like the movie to end all movies. And they turn it into fucking visual paperwork. They turn it to fucking visual paper. Look, let's, cut, let's cut to the shit. I'm not going to sit and then describe. I'll, I'll, I'll loop back around to describing the, the, the movie in pieces. Let me just get right off the fucking. To get this whole shit off my chest. Oppenheimer is the worst piece of shit I ever fucking paid money to see. Oppenheimer is the worst fucking piece of shit I've ever fucking paid money to see. I, you know, you can maybe dig deep back in the, in the Hollywood video block, blockbuster days when you stroll through the aisles and you're like, hey, what is this? And it's like, um, you know, the, 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 the monkey balancing on the end. Like, and it's like, oh yeah, that was dog shit. You know, there's a couple movies I had, I've had to turn off. I remember walking out of Hostel 2 when I went to go see that in movie theaters. Hostel 2 was better than fucking Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is the single worst piece of shit that I've ever fucking spent money on. Hands fucking down. So now, I didn't realize this until about an hour into the movie. So like I guess the first five minutes, I say, okay, Killian Murphy, the cork is now dominating the fucking world. Congratulations, okay? Then about 20, 20, 20 minutes, I'm like, all right, we're, you know, we're, 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 we're moving along here. We're moving along here. Uh, who's the score guy? I say, who's the score guy? Is it fucking Hans Zimmer, Hans, whoever the fuck? Is it the Star Wars guy? I'm like, who's the score guy? Because the score is kind of like, it, 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 it's not stopping. You know, it's not stopping, and it's, like, violent, and it's not, like, a score where I'm, like, oh, shit, you know, I'm in the zone. It's, like, it, it's kind of in the way now. It's a little, 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 little bit in the way. And, you know, it started the first five minutes, that, that's, that's the, the score thing is one thing. It's just the noise in general. The noise in general. The fucking noise in this fucking movie. Whether it was organized noise, like the music, or the actual noise. It's just, like, if you're making a salad, you need to have a balance of ingredients. You don't just dump, like, Swedish fish and fucking sunflower seeds and fucking, you know, uh, smashed potatoes and whatever. You, you don't do that. You don't do that. But that's what this fucking... I, I'm convinced 
I'm convinced with this guy, fucking Christopher Nolan, who can't make a movie, who cannot make a movie. That's like, like, like I'm sorry, because they're like, oh, he's the greatest. Half the people who are, who are, who are pumping this whole thing up, they're like, oh, another genius thing by Christopher Nolan. If that, if that wasn't his name, we have the whole thing about names on this thing. If that wasn't his name, you'd say, this is a shit movie. If none of these fucking people who had names were in the movie, you would say, oh, this is a piece of shit. But you don't want to say that, because you're like, oh, Nolan, you have to be seen like, oh, but he's actually, it's a masterpiece. You know, he must know what he's doing, because Christopher Nolan, he doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know how to make a movie. This guy doesn't know how to fucking make a movie. Like I said, first of all, he turned a thing about the end of the world into a, a, a meeting. The whole thing is about a fucking, not even a trial. Like, give me a fucking trial. You want to give me a trial movie? You want to give me a trial movie? Give me a trial movie. Have the fucking lawyer, one lawyer, screaming his head off at the other lawyer. And it's like, hey, no, you're a piece of shit. Hey, no, this, I mean, and there's this, like, tension. And the jury going, oh, oh, oh. There was none of that shit. There was none of that shit. They were sitting at a fucking desk. It's a deposition. It's a deposition. And then they had like two, they're like, oh, it's gonna be black and white. We're gonna have the regular. We're gonna have the. But they were like three years apart. Three years apart. That I, like, you know, if you had it like when he was 80, try to do some Irishman shit. You had Robert Daniel looking like he's fucking 12 years old again. Like, that, that, that'd be, you know, like that's different because like now I have two fucking distinct errors. But it's like, it's all to me, it's all the same fucking thing. They show how, they're, how he's building thing, but then they had this whole, they framed the whole thing around him being sitting in a fucking deposition. It's fucking paperwork. It's fucking paperwork. They managed to take the most exciting fucking topic and turn it into the most boring piece of shit. Let's get back to the, the, the score for a second. So now I'm watching it an hour, and again, the score hasn't fucking let up. This is like, I, I'm, I realized I'm now in for a three-hour-long trailer. This shit is like a fucking trailer, okay? But it's three hours fucking long. I'm convinced that Christopher Nolan and this dude who did the score, who turns out to be fucking a, a childish Gambino guy, This Is America... Fucking Redbone. They're like, hey, you nailed these two three-minute uh, songs. Now here's three hours worth of shit. Nobody told him you don't have to write music for the entire fucking thing. But this guy went ahead and did it. And it's just just, just meandering. Me, 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 Like constantly. Constantly going off while they discuss boring shit. And there's bombs, sh- no, bomb noises just going off. First, in the first five minutes, I was like, oh, this is dope. Because he's like, uh, I was like, oh, I have these visions or whatever. And it cuts to the, 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 the visual of the fucking atoms or whatever and it goes bruh, bruh, bruh. I'm like oh shit this is gonna be dope and then it just kept fucking doing that like like it would be like if he was just standing at the fucking urinal like sprinkling up it would just be bruh, bruh. It's like that doesn't earn the bomb sound it doesn't earn the bomb sound okay you haven't earned the fucking bomb sound and now on top of the fucking bomb sound yeah this dude who's supposed to be making three minute songs and after this should very well go back to making three minute songs You're doing three hours of and it's just constant and it's just constant and then they're trying to tell you Okay, here's the fucking physics behind the shit. First of all, here's to the guy. Okay, and then the guy fucks this girl, and then she, I don't know, then just, that, that runs into a tree. That fucking storyline. Whatever. But then they're like, okay, he's developing this. It's already tough enough for me to get the, I don't, I'm, the physics goes in one ear, not the other for me. Okay, the physics thing is hard to understand. Okay, so give me time to fucking focus on the physics. But I don't have time to focus on the physics. I can't even fucking hear this shit, because it's like, bah, 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 and like, oh, bah, 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 and they just speed through these fucking details, but they give you the most boring fucking details. It's like, it's like if you took meetings, if you took every meeting that ever existed and gave me the fucking the highlights, the five second highlights of every meeting. I don't care. It's about meetings. You're making a movie about meetings. Okay, you're making a movie about fucking the, 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 the boring shit. Okay, I don't, want the, I don't want the sides. I don't want the fucking grits. Give me the fucking steak. Give me the fucking steak. No, you didn't give me a fucking steak. This is what I'm saying. And, 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 and so... The complicate matters even fucking farther. I have this noisy fucking man. Now it's like, let's hire all this, because this, and this is why I'm giving up on Hollywood in particular. Let's hire 60 fucking famous faces. Let's get 60 fucking famous faces. And I'm not even joking when I say 60. It's like literally that many fucking people. And they all have these different fucking white names. It's like Scherzer and Swazker. And you remember Slazzy. It's like being dragged through Rockefeller Center, like in, in, in Christmas. And then like, 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 I don't know, like some dude has you by the fucking hands, just swirling you through, and you're just like a six year old, just like, I just want to see the fucking tree, I just want to see Santa Claus, and you're just being fucking, you're like, you remember this guy, you remember this guy, I'm like, no, I don't, I just saw him for the first time two, 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 two seconds ago, how the fuck would I remember the, the, who, who, who that is, it's chaos, okay, it's chaos, the only reason I know who it is is because it's Josh Peck, or whoever the fuck, the guy, the, 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 Dennis Quaid's son, they just had every, they had every fucking person that you could ever fucking think of in this movie to play an insignificant role, fucking, okay, the fucking, the, 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 even the significant roles, even the significant roles, Fucking uh, 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 Robert, Robert Downey Jr., Matt Damon, useless. Robert Downey Jr. is going so far into the gulag. It has, I, I cannot tell you. Talk about another warning sign for this fucking movie. I should have known from the start this was going to be a fucking disaster. Because you know why? This guy on, on, on TikTok, the, 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 the Kabi, Kabi Lami, he's like the number one TikTok guy. He's the Italian kid. 
He, he does these skits. And listen, he's trying to maximize, as he should, maximize on the fact that he's got the biggest TikTok channel in, in the world, right? So that's what he did. He's like, okay, uh, you know, occasionally I'm going to do this paid promotion shit. So I'm going to have whoever the fuck, Kendall Jenner or whatever, and they're going to do a skit together, whatever. I saw the one he did with Idris Elba, and it's just like, it's, like, like, it's one of those things, oh, it's only Idris Elba who's here to promote my movie. And you're like, oh my God. But at the very fucking least, there was a bit. There was a bit behind it. Like there was something with like the car locks, and he was like pulling, and the whole thing is like, it goes back to the, what the guy does. This whole guy is like, basically saying you're doing all this complicated shit it's so simple and then he does the mr bean face and all this kind of stuff so even when he's doing the paper motion it's like okay fine i know i get it you have to make money and you do it's a, you do another bit it's great it's fine it's fantastic he did one with fucking robert downey jr okay and i i, I should have known i should have known from that he's just him running down a hole in a suit and then robert downey jr goes Ugh. i don't i can't even tell you what he said it was just like a fucking bowl it was like it was like a bowl of stew with useless fucking hollywood jargon go is is your demon is the premiere take this down to the premiere this is get the demon and talk to the premiere the screen promoter that was literally what it was for 20 seconds it was 20 minutes of a mushmouth thing I understand I'm a mushmouth but it's a Hollywood fucking mishmash it's Damon to get the kids the director or something down to the premiere and like there was no joke there it's like what's the joke like, and like everyone in the comments like huh oh Robert Downey Jr like are we just that fucking excited to just see somebody who's famous it doesn't matter what the fuck he says he just goes me as we as Casper like Robert Downey Jr oh my god that was him in the movie by the way that was him in the movie, by the way. He did no... The, the, the performance is great. There's no performance is great. What's, what, what's great about the performance? What the fuck's great about the performance? What the fuck's great? It's a wooden-ass character. There's no... There's no. He just cut him out of the movie. Cut him out of the movie. The reason you can't come out of the movie is because they framed it around this fucking guy's trial or promotion. I did it on this insignificant event. Who gives a shit if he gets promoted, denied? Who cares? Who cares? But if they take him out, then they can't have that fucking... That saves the movie, in my opinion. In my opinion. Cuts this thing in half, cuts this thing out, and we're good to go. But they said, no, we're gonna have, we have to have fucking Robert Downey Jr. Because it's just going to be... We're going to have stars. It's just stars and stars and stars. And we got Matt Damon wearing a stupid fucking mustache. Again, no character, no personality whatsoever. He's just there being... I don't know why. I don't even know what he contributed to the movie. I don't know what... No, none of these people contributed anything to the fucking movie. The only motherfucker I like, and maybe I'm biased, was the Safety guy. I saw Safety. I'm like, oh, we got the Safety guy. Uh, bro, New York's in the house. And he was actually a memorable one because he had an accent and the whole thing. I still, I don't really know what he did, but like, you know. The point being, they kept dragging more motherfuckers in there. And it's just like, it was listening, it was like listening to the most boring person that ever lived. Just do a giant fucking mound of cocaine. And uh, in three hours, tell you all the contents of that boring life. That's what it was like. And it's like, oh, and, and Schwitzer, you remember Schwitzer? And like, like fucking hit you in the face with like uh, 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 the wallet picture. You know, like, oh, my friend Schwitzer. Oh, my Schwitzer. And like, I don't remember Schwitzer. Who the fuck was Schwitzer? And then like they show you Schwitzer for two seconds. Okay, I still don't know why you're talking about Schwitzer. And what is who's wh when's the bomb coming out? When's the fucking bomb coming out? I'm like, well, it's because it's, I mean, you, you're bogging me down in the details. I don't give a fuck about the details. Okay, I don't care. I don't give a fuck. If you're making a movie, if you're making a movie about the greatest swimmer, if you make a Michael Phelps movie. You make it a Michael Phelps movie. Don't show me the shits where he, you know he's he's on a kickboard. You know, oh, back when he's, he's got, he saved the floaties when he had per first part on, he took off the floaties for the first time. He went from the kiddie pool to the big pool, okay? That's 30 seconds. Don't fucking linger on that shit for, th for 30 minutes, okay? Now, don't fucking show him getting his fucking thighs stretched out. I don't care. I don't give a shit. Don't show the sanctioning bodies of the pool going, well, you know, we're going to switch from a 63-foot pool to a 65-foot I don't give a fuck how long the fucking pool is. That's not what I'm interested in. That's not what I paid an extortionate amount of money to see. In IMAX, and I had to see an IMAX. Like I was, I was so fortunate to see with the, the the fucking visuals and sounds just bombarding me at all times. You know, like it's like like let's describe the story of of of, of this library being built in the middle of fuck nowhere. But let's just make it blah 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 blah. Jason Statham, blah 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 blah. Jason Alexander, blah 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 blah. Anne Hathaway, blah 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 blah. Music doesn't fucking stop. I saw I, there was I I guarantee you I guarantee you the amount of cocaine on that fucking set. It had to be a, co a competition between fucking uh, Christopher Nolan and uh, uh, childish Gambino guys. Like who can out cocaine the other? Who can out cocaine the other? Which is fine if you got a, if a fucking rock star of a fucking story. And you did. You had that. You had that. And you fucking blew it. You blew it fucking big time. And now you're shitting on my week, okay? So, like, so half an hour in this shit. About half an hour into this shit. Uh, sorry, an hour and a half into this shit. And I'm like, this, this, this is, this is dog shit. 
I had the suspicion that it was dog shit about half an hour in. And then an hour and a half in, I'm like, this is absolute dog shit. Am I even going to stay there? I, I mean, at that point, I had to. And that's when I started literally jeering and throwing my hands at the fucking screen. I was just like, I was like, the, 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 the one bit that drove me fucking nuts. It, dro- it was like a cherry on top at the end. When the shit doesn't go his way or whatever. I'm going to spoil the movie because you shouldn't, you shouldn't see it. You shouldn't see it. Donate the fucking $26 to, to some fucking bullshit charity. It'll do, do, do that for the world instead of going to see this disgusting piece of shit. It was like... Uh, they're like, oh, there was three people who, who, uh, who, who, what should you call it? Three people who voted against guy, dude. And again, dude, who, like, who gives a shit who dude was? But they, who gives a shit who voted against him? That's all, it doesn't fucking matter. But like, oh, one of them was this upstart, uh, center. And I just knew when they said that, I knew what was coming. I just knew Lip Tart Holly was going to do this whole, and like, I'm like, I knew what was coming. They're like, oh, this is this upstart senator from I'm trying to make his name. What's his name? Kennedy. And then they just move on. And you know that's the point where everybody, like, in these fucking, you know, in these movies, go, ah, oh, oh, that's Ken, that's Ken, ah, oh, ah, oh. most useless overrated figure of the 20th century. Most useless overrated, what did he fucking do? What did Kennedy do? But we're so obsessed with this whole thing of, like, it's this shadow of Obama shit. And we're like, oh, we did Obama. So who was the Obama of the 60s? It was this guy fucking Kennedy. Just bring back R- RFK, whatever. You want to talk about RFK? At least the guy did his fucking job. This fucking boat shoe ass motherfucker is, and it's like, it's just, it's just, it just reeked of that. It's like, oh, Ken, oh, Ken, who gives a fuck about Kennedy? Why are you dropping that? And, and that's when I, I, I literally threw my hands up in the theater. I had people fucking looking at me. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? You know, it's just so misguided and so stupid. And it's just so kept. All these fucking reviews going, oh, it's fine. But they're not seeing anything. Like, epic masterpiece. Uh, this is discovering. It was like, you wrote this shit before you saw it. You wrote that shit before you saw it. I was rooting for this fucking movie. I was rooting for this fucking movie. Dog shit. Utter fucking dog shit. I just gave up about an hour and a half. I'm like, I'm like, I, I you, you know what? It's, it's one thing if I didn't understand the physics shit, which is going to be me all the time. I'm not never going to understand the fucking physics thing. I, I still don't know how they would ever prove that a fucking atom exists. Like, who desi- who decided, like, oh, there must be a, a, a thing you can't see with your eye where there's, like, spinning sh- shit, spinning around other shit. Like, and, but it's all space. And I, I you know, I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. Um... But yeah, so I'm I'm going through all the, the list of things. See, this is the problem with this whole show. I wanted to say this the day after, so this would have been all fucking organic. Now I'm recalling shit from two and a half weeks ago. Calling recalling shit from two and a half weeks ago. So I have what I wrote down here is I wrote down Sting Silence, and what that what that means is this. I saw something on uh uh, uh Sting was doing the inside the actor studio thing back when I was on. T- I think the guy died actually. Now I think he's dead. Uh, not Sting, but the uh the the, the inside the actor studio. And uh, and they're like, hey, you know, they go down, they do like the whole the the list thing. Hey, what's your favorite? This what's what's your what's your, if you didn't wear a single, what would you do? Blah, blah, blah. And they ask him, what's your favorite sound? And Sting, being the fucking you know yogi enlightened whatever the fuck he is, goes uh, silence. And I'm like, shut the fuck up, you cunt. You've been making money off of organized music for forty fucking years, okay? Don't be all fucking meta now. Oh, but silence. Oh, my, my favorite silence. It's clearly not silence because silence doesn't pay you shit. Okay? Non-silence is why you have a $40 million uh, uh, a loft that you just sold for whatever. I don't, don't quote me on that shit. I'm just throwing, picking numbers out my ass. So don't sue me for libel saying whatever. It's like, you know, but like, just can, can you say, spare us of all the fucking, you know, uh, 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 and just go back to fucking your wife for nine hours like we all want to. You know, like not, not, not fuck you. We don't, I, mean, I don't know. No, but I, we don't want to fuck you. Away. We want to have your sexual prowess. Okay. You're better than all of us. We get that you're fucking better than us. You get that you can stick your, you know, your, your, your ankle behind your head or whatever the fuck it is you do. And then sing to her. I dream of rain. I rain, I rain, I rain, I rain. She's just comes like a fucking mall fountain. I, do why, do why don't you just accept the fact that you have the W and then not bullshit us with the whole thing of like, oh, silence is your favorite sound. At the same time, I, you know what? It took me years after seeing that thing to understand what he's saying. I actually finally fucking understand it now. I now understand what he was talking about after seeing fucking Oppenheimer. Because the, the, the first minute of silence in this fucking movie, which is when the bomb goes off like two hours into it, the first minute of fucking silence, I'm like, oh shit. Oh my God. This is luxury. My ear, my eardrums are like, like, oh, wait. Oh, you know, my biological Darwinian shit is like, okay, we're out of the woods now. Like, we're, we're, we're away from the thing that was trying to kill us because that's, that's, dude, that's what the sounds were essentially making me fucking think. We're, we're, we're safe. We're, there was a sense of calm for two minutes, and then it got right back to... Johnson. Oppenheimer. Einstein. It went right back to that shit. 
Went right back to that shit. And I said, you know what? For the first time in my fucking life, I understood. So I'm so I apologize, Sting. Sting must have fucking seen Oppenheimer before he fucking said that shit. Because I, I fucking, silence, was, at that point, I valued silence more than anything. I valued silence more than anything. At all, in, on the, in the fucking planet. Just, any, there was no, like, I, I would throw away my, my entire empire. Just watch the rest of that shit. I mean, I'm like, just give me a fucking break. So that's what I have in terms of Sting Silence. What else do I have? Three hour, three hour long trailer, I said that. Visual paperwork. Uh, 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 Robert Downey Jr. Oh, yeah, Robert Downey Jr. Uh, I've said uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s Kevin Spacey. And what I meant by that is this. Uh, two people who get credit for doing, do being, uh, just being themselves in every movie, which is fucking annoying in the first place. You know, there's tons who, like, you know, if I know I'm seeing a Mark Wahlberg movie, it's like, I know I'm getting Mark Wahlberg. I'm not getting something that ventures far from what I'm used to when it comes to fucking Mark Wahlberg. I understand that. But at the very least, I, I enjoy the character enough to be like, okay, that's fine. Okay, Kevin Spacey, the reason I bring up Kevin Spacey, because I, I, I've i always thought, and now it's cool to say it, but before the, the whole shit, the Me Too shit came out, I've always thought that he was the most overrated motherfucker. Like, he just acts, he doesn't even act, he just moves his, he, like, he doesn't even move his face, and he's always just moving his lower jaw, and everything's like, oh, 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 oh. and why do I go, and, and like, I'm like, he's so great. It's like, he's, not, he's not fucking great. He's not fucking great. He's just saying a word. It's smarmly. He's smarmly saying a word. And that's what I think about when I see fucking Rob. There's no difference between Robert Downey Jr. on that screen and how and who he was in that in that little clip and who he was in every interview thing. I know, it's real. I really do. And if I like person, and we just and we get the votes. And I'm, I'm like, this guy has no fucking character. He has no character. He has no fucking character. And I was like, oh, Robert Downey Jr. You know, if this guy wasn't fucking Iron Man, Iron Man fucked the whole shit up. Iron Man fucked up society. It really did. Iron Man was because that was the one that started off the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's number one. So now because he started that shit off, uh, uh, you know, that, that he's the fucking... So now it, it, it made Robert Downey Jr. a giant celebrity. It fucking started off this giant waste of fucking thing that we need to figure out how to replicate. Because we're going to do the Disney Cinematic Universe. We're going to fucking do that. And they're going to be all these superheroes that I'm going to come up with. They're going to have them be raccoons. I know they have a raccoon in this in this, in this movie. We're going to have a better raccoon. We're going to have a fucking better raccoon. Our raccoon worships Ratucha, the raccoon god. Uh, but anyway, a little bit of specific size point. Uh, it fucking inf- inflated Robert Johnny Jr. to this fucking Mount Rushmore type thing, which he's not, which he's not, okay? And on top of all that shit, now fucking blue Elon Musk, it's like we're just inflating useless ass motherfuckers. Because then you, Elon Musk, he made his whole thing because people are like, the real life Tony Stark, the real life Tony Stark. And we inflated this guy who's got no fucking skills and just over promises and under delivers. So now we have over promising under delivers and we have people running Hollywood in terms of like acting running Hollywood. I'm not gonna do this whole like, oh, who really runs Hollywood? Oh, 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 oh. Dog whistle, water, and that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the acting. We have, and there goes my fucking pen. Uh, 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 Robert Downey Jr. is saying, oh, he's one of the premier actors. He sucks. Guy fucking sucks. He's going on the goal. Daddy, Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. Into the gulag, you go. Okay, into the gulag, you fucking go. I will make sure you have so much work at all fucking times. You wasted, you wasted all my fucking time and money at a time where I really need someone to save my ass. So there's that. What else do I have? Pound of coke, which you know. I'm sure I'm gonna have people going like, well, speaking of pound of coke, because I'm talking about. I'm just trying to squeeze this into a half an hour. Okay, so I don't know what just happened. I just blacked out. What else do I have? What else? Do I have? John Kennedy, I took care of that. Crime Against Humanity, I guess I'm just saying that this, this movie is like a crime against humanity, which it is. It is a fucking crime against I would show this shit in Guantanamo. If I was doing a Guantanamo-like thing, which I don't think I'm going to do because I don't like torturing people. But if I had to do something for, like political prisoners because people get if, if Robert Downey Jr. decided to get fucking antsy with me, although he would like the movie, that's what's fucked up. But okay, so anybody, any of Beezus or any one of these cunts who started getting like fucking, uh, um, getting a, a little bit out of their out of their element, about out of their zone, you know, trying to be a bit cheeky i'm fucking subjecting you to this shit over and over and over again okay so it's a, it's a crime against humanity this should just be tried at the fucking hague uh what else what else we got what a score yeah it's a fucking talk about the score i don't know if any of that was coherent at all it's never i never know if it's coherent uh yeah whatever i think i've i feel like i've got it out i might have to redo this whole thing I'm gonna watch this back and see if I if I if I because I need to crucify. I need I, I'm on a personal vengeance with this. I'm you know I'm even cutting ties with fucking bright eyes fucking Killian Murphy, you know for for agreeing to this. And then what now not not instantly coming around saying hey we dropped the fucking ball. Okay this thing fucking sucks. Let me save you the time and the money. But no, it's like this is the movie of my career. And you know what I guess maybe good for him. But now you need to go off into the sunset, okay? Because I I I don't think you can repair, uh uh you the, 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 the damage. You can't repair the damage. Uh, it's done. And then so I had to, so I, I came home fuming. Came home fucking fuming at like five fucking in the morning because it took forever for this fucking movie to end. And then two days later, I got, you know, I, I got uh, temporarily was brought out of the fucking, the blues by the, uh, the, one, of the, the, one of the most masterful boxing performances you'll ever fucking see. 
And is my boy TC finally getting his fucking credit after all these years? And to be honest with you, I'm saying my boy TC like I seen it coming. I called him winning the fight. I did not see that happening. But as I keep going back home, and I listen, it hurts to fucking watch that to Errol. I didn't get any enjoyment about. It. I got enjoyment out of it. I didn't get any extra enjoyment watching Errol, who's a cool. I, we fuck with Errol Spence here. We're not Errol Spence haters. It was, I didn't get some any extra enjoyment watching him get like pummeled like that. Uh, and I think he should come back. I think he should fight Thurman. I think he beats Thurman, and then you know figure out what he wants to do from there on. But fucking Terence Crawford saving a fucking week from the jaws of Oppenheimer and fucking Robert Downey Jr. and fucking Christopher Nolan, who cannot make a movie, and Matt Dillon, uh, Matt Dillon, Matt Damon, Matt Dillon, Matt, fucking bring Matt Dillon into that shit. If we're going to bring, like, fucking names, and you have all these 60 people, that is, I, like, and then you saw the person, so I have, sorry, I have to remember, you saw the person, like, you saw the guy, the, the Egyptian kid, what's his name, fucking, uh, the guy who did, uh, 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 Freddie Mercury, and I like that guy, but you saw me, like, okay, now they have to give him a fucking line, like, I know you're good, like, you know what I mean, like, now... You're just using so many fucking famous people. Like, now I know that is going to factor into the whole... It just sucks. The whole thing sucks. I, I, I really... I want to do this over. Because I really want to make sure that I crucify this the way the, the way it deserves to be crucified. It's the worst piece of shit ever. But do not go see this movie. I'll give you, I'll give you an alternative. I, I gave... Uh, 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 I gave the other one a shot a couple days ago. Because I'm like, I need, I need to see if this is just me. If this is me being... If I've reached peak fucking curmudgeon. Or uh, if it's the movie. And I went to go I, on, on a fucking whim. I'm like, give me this one. Talk to me. Whatever it is. And I'm like, oh, fuck. It's Australian. You know, Desi with Australians, we fucking dropped the ball. But I will say it fucking in and out. And it was beautiful. It was like a great fucking uh, entertaining the entire time. Go see that shit. Okay. It has like a, a, a one hundredth of the budget. It's a bunch of kids from Australia. They put their shit on the map. They elevated their entire country. In my eyes, they elevated their entire country. Go see that shit. Do not go see fucking Oppenheimer. Useless waste. Hey, I, I, that's it. I'm done. I, we're 30 minutes in. This is what I said. What I wanted to say. I'm gonna watch it back. And if I didn't, if I didn't land the way as I, so I need to get that off to my chest. Because again, on top of not having done this in two weeks, uh, we haven't done this whole shit in fucking four months. And we just kept, like I said, technology shit, and then we're catching fucking grief from neighbors and shit. And it's like you know what? Fuck the neighbors. Fuck the neighbors. Fuck all that shit. You know, like I, like I, I, I got, I got. I'm building an empire, okay. I'm building an empire, but I can't even talk about building an empire when I got shit wallowing me down, like the worst Hollywood movie I've ever seen in my fucking life. So I'm gonna stop it there, because otherwise, uh, you know, it's just gonna go on for forever. Uh, uh, hopefully, next time we'll be back to the empire shit. We can pick off where we left off. Because I, I what was I? There was one something I saw today. What did I see today? That I was like, oh, we haven't thought about that in a long time. Oh, the 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 the, the vagina rocket ships. You know, so I, I saw Di Dyson, I saw it on my notes somewhere. There's a topic we haven't touched on in, in a year and a half. It's the, the Dyson vagina rocket ships. We need to get on board with that because we need to beat this. They, they, we're going to have time because the Musks and all the people in the world who say they're going to space, they're never going to space. But we need to beat these guys there. And how are we going to beat them? We have the, the vagina fucking rocket ship, which goes in the opposite direction. We're going to get Dyson on board with this. And we're going to say, hey, we're building a rocket ship that does the opposite of the dick shit because everything else is just launching dicks into space. But my but Dyson's gonna be the one guy. He's gonna be like Wilt Chamberlain when he finally decided to shoot fucking uh, uh, free throws on her hand. He's like, oh, you know, I know it looks like I'm a pussy, right? But actually, it's fucking way more effective. And we're all about e efficacy here. I understand we have to do the uh, what's the word posture, posture to the fucking planet. There was some kind of alpha type that we can, you know beat the shit out of you if you if you if you don't uh, if you don't comply or whatever. But you know we're also about getting results done. Okay, they want to talk, talk about paying the Sahara White or some shit to solve climate change and people are like oh it's like if listen i don't give a f i'm not part of this climate cult whatever fucking works does that work does it work there's gonna be some side effects what's the side effects is it worth it let's do that whatever fucking works if you have to paint the giant pub portrait of fucking robert downey jr over this i don't give a fuck does that work does it work we're not paying pay. but that, i wouldn't do that i will literally draw the line because i hated this movie so much i'm gonna stop because otherwise i'm gonna keep fucking writing my face off so this is the last the first time you, hopefully the first time back and not the last time you'll see me and then i don't know what i don't even know what i'm trying i just need to, I, I i need to get off the air that's it i'm just gonna go right now three two one stop